Hello, mga mahal! Welcome back to my learning channel. This is One Up Tutorial, where you can level up your math skills with me, Miss B. Hello, everyone! Ako po si Miss B, ang inyong resident math teacher na tutulungan kayo para mas maintindihan nyo ang inyong math lesson. Yes po, ang ating learning channel ay puro math lang ang topics, math lessons from grade 7 up until grade 10. If you like this video, Please do not forget to like and subscribe for more content. At kung gusto niyo pong lagi kayong updated sa newest lessons natin, please click the bell button as well. If you have comments and suggestions, pakiiwan na lang po silang lahat sa ating comment section down below. Okay, let's start! Our lesson for today is about polynomials and how to divide them. So this lesson is for grade 10 math sa first quarter po. Now, our objective for this lesson is to recall what polynomials are and to divide polynomials using two methods, ang long division at ang synthetic division. Ang ating most essential learning competency na matatackle for this particular lesson is performing division of polynomials using long division and synthetic division. Okay, sana na po, malinaw na po yan. So, let's start. Ano po ba ang isang polynomial expression? So, sana naalala natin. Nag-start tayo mag-aral ng polynomials ng grade 7. A polynomial expression is an expression of the form a sub n, x raised to n, plus a sub n minus 1, x, n minus, a, x raised to n minus 1, plus, and so on and so forth. Where a sub n is not equal to 0, ang n natin ay isang non-negative integer called the degree of the polynomial and the coefficient from a sub 0 up until a sub n ay real numbers. Okay. So, tatandaan natin sa isang polynomial expression, kung gusto natin siyang nakasulat ng mas maayos, siya po dapat ay may uh, ay nakasulat in descending order or highest exponent first and then going down to the constant. Okay. Now, let's recall kung paano tayong mag-divide ng algebraic expression. Halimbawa, meron tayong 2x plus 4 divided by 2. Kung meron tayong ganito, the way to divide this is i-divide natin silang pareho sa 2. So, yung 2x plus 4 po natin over 2, ang ibig niyang sabihin ay meron tayong 2x divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2. At ang makukuha po natin sagot ay x plus 2. Okay? So, hirapan natin ng konti. What if I need to find the quotient of 21x cubed minus 35x squared divided by 7x? So, gano'n na din po ang konsepto. We will divide each of them with 7x. So, we have 35x squared divided by 7x. If we do that, ang makukuha po natin, kapag ganito, remember to divide the numerical coefficients first and then use the law of exponents to get the answer for the variable. So, 21 divided by 7 is 3. x cubed divided by x, magma-minus lang po ang kanilang exponent. Kaya tayo may x squared. Minus 5x. Okay? Now, paano naman kung binomial na ang ating divisor? Okay? So, kung ang divisor po natin ay polynomial na rin or binomial in this case, halimbawa, Divide x squared minus 9x minus 10 by x plus 1. Ano natin siyang i-divide? So, katulad lang po ang konsepto niya ng pag-divide ng numbers. Halimbawa, meron tayong 864 divided by 4. Ano yung ginagawa natin? Diba, we have to get, dahil one digit lang ang ating divisor, kuha na natin yung first digit ng ating dividend. And then we divide. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Alagay natin yung 2 sa taas. Sa tapat ng 8. And then the next step is to multiply. 2 times 4, that's 8. And then the next step is to subtract. Magiging 0. The next step is to bring down 6. And then we repeat the whole process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So, ganun lang din po ang konsepto ng long division for polynomial. Let's try to do this one. Yung dividend natin na x squared minus 9x minus 10 ay nasa loob. Ang 
ating divisor na x plus 1 ay nasa labas. So, kukuha na natin ang first term nilang pareho. x squared divided by x is x. And then, we multiply x with our divisor. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is plus x. Our next step is subtraction. Ito po ay magiging 0 lamang. We will change the sign of the subtrahend and change the operation. We will get negative 10x and then bring down negative 10. And then we repeat the process. So negative 10x divided by x is negative 10. And then multiply negative 10x minus 10. Kung napapansin po natin, sila po ay exactly the same. So we have a zero remainder. Ang ating answer na po or the quotient is x minus 10. Okay? So, ganun lang po ang... It, they have the same concept as dividing with numbers. Medyo mas, mukhang mas mahirap lang dahil gumagamit tayo ng variables. Let's move on. Alright, so let's have another example here. We have 17x minus 16x squared plus 6x cubed minus 6 divided by 3x minus 2. Now, a very important thing about long division is hindi tayo makapag-divide hanggat hindi naka-descending order ang ating dividend. So, upon checking, ang ating dividend na ito ay hindi po naka-descending order. So, kailangan ilagay muna natin siya in descending order. So, when we write our solution, magsisimula tayo sa may pinakamataas na exponent, which is C6x cubed, followed by 16x squared, followed by plus 17x minus so, ang constant po lagi natin ang nasa end. Unless walang constant. We will divide this by 3x minus 2. So, ganun lang po ang proseso. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Let's start with 6x cubed divided by 3x. We are supposed to get 2x squared. And then, we multiply 6x cubed times negative or minus 4x squared. And then we subtract. Ito po ay magiging 0 lamang. Change the sign of the subtrahend. Change the operation. And then 16 minus 4, that will give you negative 12x squared. Tapos, we bring down 17x. And then, we do it again. We get negative 12x squared, and we're going to divide that by 3x. Ang makukuha po natin ay negative 4x. And then we multiply that to negative 2. Uh, we multiply negative 4x with 3x minus 2. You will get negative 12x squared plus 8x. Okay? Dahil po tayo nagsusubtract. Change the operation, change the sign of our subtrahend. So, ano pong makukuha nating sagot dyan? We will end up with 9x. Ito na lang natin siya isulat. 9x, and then we bring down c minus 6. And then we divide our last. We divide it one last time. 9x divided by 3. x is positive 3. And then we multiply that. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times a negative 2 is negative 6. So again, napapansin nyo na parehong-pareho lang po sila. They will just cancel out. We have 0 remainder. Therefore, our final answer is napakakulay ng ating solution. 2x squared minus 4x plus 3. Yay! Yay! So, we have one last example here. Now, this time, it's a little bit different. Kung mapapansin nyo, si dividend, we have 7 minus 4x squared plus x cubed. Now, may kulang ba? Yes, actually, may kulang yan. Kulang yung term na merong x lang. So, anong gagawin natin kapag kulang? Technically, okay? We will fill that in with a zero. So, kapag nagsusulat na tayo ng solution natin, ang gagawin natin, again, kailangan naka-descending order. So, x cubed minus 4x squared 
dahil dapat po ay meron tayong uh, term with x only, gagawin natin siyang plus 0x, and then we end with 7. And we will divide that by x minus 1. And then we can now proceed to our division. So, if we divide x cubed divided by x, we will have x squared. Multiply x cubed minus x squared. Subtract. Change. Change. Negative 3x squared. Bring down 0x. And then, negative 3x. Multiply negative 3x squared plus 3x. Subtract. Mawawala, mababago ang sign. Mababago ang operation. Positive 3x na po. Plus 7. Because we're gonna bring that down. And then, finally, plus 3. So, 3x minus 3. If we subtract that, ang mangyayari po ay magkakaroon tayo ng mahiwagang remainder. So, we will have positive 7 plus positive we will have positive 10 as your remainder. So, paano po tayong nagsusulat ng remainder? We write our final answer, yung nakuha natin sa division. And then, since our remainder is positive, we will write it plus 10. And then, we're going to divide it with our divisor, x minus 1. So, this is now our final answer. Okay? Now, if any of these topics are not clear, pwede nyo pong balikan or pwede nyo ulitin, pwede nyo i-pause yung video para mag-sync in yung lesson. Okay? So, that's how we do long division. Okay. So, what if hindi kayo masyadong magaling sa long division and you want a quicker and uh, easier method for dividing polynomials? Pwede naman po. Meron po tayong shortcut na tinatawag. At ang shortcut na yan ay ang synthetic division. So, at the start of the lesson, nabanggit ko na dalawang method ang aaralin natin, si long division at si syn synthetic division. Now, we will proceed to learning about synthetic division. So, paano natin ginagawa ang synthetic division? For synthetic division, kailangan lang po natin ang numerical coefficient ng ating dividend and then, si divisor, mamaya na natin pag-uusapan. So, for this one, we have 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8. So, kung papansin nyo, may kulang na naman tayo na isang term. Ang kulang natin dyan ay yung term that only has x, or the literal coefficient na x. So, anong gagawin natin? We will fill that up with a numerical coefficient of 0. So, let's write down yung mga numerical coefficients natin. Let's start tayo kay 3, kay 4, so, dapat may x tayo, pero dahil wala, 0 ang gagawin natin. And then, constant 8. Now, dito sa divisor, ang divisor po natin medyo tricky. Kailangan babalik na rin natin ang kanyang sign. So, if you have x plus 2, you will have minus 2. So, now we're ready to start. Ang gagawin po natin is, first, we will bring down the first term, which is 3. And then, we multiply 3 to negative 2, we will get negative 6. And then, ia-add lang po natin si 4 at saka si negative 6. That will give us negative 2. And then, we repeat the process. Negative 2 times negative 2, you will get positive 4. We add. You get positive 4. And then, we multiply again. 4 times negative 2, you will get negative 8. If we add this, you will get 0. So, dahil 0 po yung nakuha natin dito, ibig sabihin 0 remainder. Wala tayong remainder. So, paano natin makukuha yung tamang sagot? Okay, kasi puro numerical coefficients lang to. Ang gagawin po natin ay magsisimula tayo dun sa 1 degree lower than our uh, original divide, dividend. So, if ang dividend natin ay x cubed, kakabitan natin yung sagot natin ng x. Squared. Tapos, descending order na lang po. Negative 2 plus 4. Tada! That's it! O, diba? Mas mabilis kesa sa long division. Kaya nga siya tinawag na shortcut. So, ganyan lang po 
ang mga pointers na kailangan tandaan, si divisor, i-invert po natin ang kanyang sign. And then, yung final answer po will be 1 degree lower than your original problem. Let's try another example. Ayan, medyo mahaba-haba para masaya. So, we have x uh, to the 4th plus x, uh, 8x squared minus 5x cubed minus 2 plus 15x by x minus 3. So, as usual, kailangan po natin siyang i-arrange into descending order. Pero mga numerical coefficients lang yung kukuhanin natin. So, we're gonna start with the 1 kasi numerical coefficient ng x times our x raised to 4 is 1. Isusunod natin yung sa x cubed, negative 5. And then, si x squared, 8. Sa x ay 15. And the constant, minus 2. And then, i-invert po natin yung number or yung constant sa ating divisor. So, instead of negative 3, we will use positive 3. And then, we can proceed. Bring down the first term. Multiply. 1 times 3. That's 3. And then, add. Positive. Negative 2. Sorry. And then, multiply again. Negative 2 times positive 3. Negative 6. And then, add. Positive 2. Positive 2 times 3, positive 6. If you add, we will get 21. 21 times 3, that will give us 63. And then if we add that to positive 2, we will get 61. So, dahil meron tayong number sa end, this will be our remainder. So, paano magsusulat kung may remainder? Ganun lang din po with long division. So, we're gonna start with uh, writing down the answer. Magsisimula tayo with a degree lower than our original problem. Kung original natin ay x to the 4th, we will have x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2 plus, oh sorry, 2x plus 21. And then, positive po ang ating remainder. So, it's plus 61 over our original divisor, which is x minus 3. So, yan na po ang ating sagot. Okie dokes. Alright. So, now we have reached the last example of the day. So, this time, I would like you to practice it on your own. So, i-post niyo po muna yung video, copy the problem on your sheet of paper there, and then try to answer this on your own. And then, kung tapos na kayo, i-resume Sorry, i-resume nyo na lang po yung video so that you can check your final answers. So, I'm going to do it using synthetic division para mas mabilis. So, remember that you have to arrange your uh, polynomial expression into descending order. So, magsisimula tayo sa 1 kasi x cubed, 7x squared, 2x minus 40. And instead of positive 3, I will invert it. It becomes negative 3. Bring down 1. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Okay. So, in this case, meron na naman tayong remainder. So, remember, pag sinasulat po natin ang ating sagot, we will start with the degree lower than our problem. So, this will be x squared plus 4x minus 10 minus 10 over x plus 3. So, I hope you got the same answer. Kung hindi man, okay lang yan. You can try again using long division. Right? So, thank you so much for tuning in to our lesson about polynomial division. And I hope you like this video. Please, if you have any suggestions or comments or topics na gusto niyo pong i-discuss ko, please put them down on the comment section. Maraming salamat mga mahal! Paalam!